Manchester United were always going to sign a new defensive midfielder this summer and Jose Mourinho's side have been linked with quite a few of them. Fabinho from Monaco is the main one that all fans are hoping is going to be pushed over the line. We've been linked with Timmy Bakayoko, he looks like he's going to be joining Chelsea, linked with Eric Dyer, and we've also been linked with Nemanja Matic. Obviously, Jose Mourinho, he brought him back to Chelsea in 2014. And reports over the last week have really suggested that Matic could be that defensive midfielder that Mourinho is going to bring into Manchester United this summer. But what is the whole story? What we're going to do, as always, is run through the full story right back from when the link started to show you how it's developed. And according to reports, it could be completed this week. But what are those reports? Here is the full story. Now let's rewind to 2016 when Gianluca Di Marzio said that Manchester United had made initial contact with Chelsea over a potential move for Nemanja Matic. As we know, nothing actually happened, but those rumours, they didn't just start this year, they started the year before when Mourinho first came in as Manchester United manager. He ended up signing Paul Pogba, not a, not a similar midfielder at all really, but that was a central midfielder that he signed. Matic was on the cards then, but it never happened. Then fast forward to the 31st of May 2017 when Manchester Evening News are reporting that Matic is open to reuniting with Mourinho at Manchester United. And they say that Matic has discussed that potential move to Manchester United. So as you can see, we've had the original rumours back in June 2016 when Mourinho was first manager of Manchester United. Now, after the end of the season, after that Europa League final win against Ajax, the rumours started to come back. And Manchester Evening News and Samuel Luckhurst in particular have been at the core of these transfer rumours. But it's not just him, you can look at ESPN's Rob Dawson. He is reporting that Man United had three names on their list. Timu Bakayoko, Nemanja Matic and Eric Dyer. Now the Eric Dyer rumours have, have died off. Timu Bakayoko, it looks like he's going to be joining Chelsea, which also adds into this story. And Nemanja Matic is the third one. There's no mention of Fabinho there. And that's what you can see. There's two distinct lines of journalists, I suppose, and two distinct targets. On the one hand, the reports are suggesting we're going to sign Fabinho. On the other hand, the reports are suggesting that we're going to sign Nemanja Matic. Could we sign both? Now, Matic is not a pure defensive midfielder like Fabinho is. You know, he played at Chelsea last year when Kante came along. He moved slightly further up the pitch into a sort of left central midfield role. He's got a little bit more to his game as an all-round midfielder than Fabinho has, who is a pure defensive midfielder. He operates as a defensive midfielder or as a right-back. And maybe Matic could add cover in that respect, say if you've got an injury to Paul Pogba or Herrera, Matic would be more suited to playing in those positions than somebody like Fabinho. But as I said, we've been heavily linked with Matic and heavily linked with Fabinho. Are we going to sign both or either? That's what we're trying to figure out. Then on the 20th of June, the reports come out again that Matic is interested in joining Manchester United and reuniting with Mourinho. Now Mourinho, as I said earlier, he was the manager who brought him back from Benfica in 2014. And that first season, Matic was an absolute powerhouse in midfield. And he would certainly add a lot to this United midfield. He's big, he's strong, he covers a lot of ground. And as I said, he's a little bit more versatile than someone like Fabinho. He could operate across all three positions. And maybe that's what Mourinho wants. He wants cover in more areas rather than a specialist like Fabinho. But as we all know, Mourinho loves specialist signings. So it's just a bit confusing that Man United are getting linked to so many that it's hard to stay on top of where the truth is in these rumours. But as I said, on the 20th of June, the reports came back out that Matic was interested in linking up Mourinho again. Then on the 23rd of June is when the rumours really accelerated because the Manchester Evening News reported that Nemanja Matic had agreed personal terms with Manchester United. Obviously that would be a major, major move and a major step in the right direction of Matic coming to Old Trafford. And this has happened so often this summer in that Perisic, Morata, you look at Matic now, there's so many players who have apparently agreed personal terms before a fee has been agreed with the club. And Matic is just another one of those. But lo and behold, I think it was on the same day, the Telegraph brought out reports from the club that Man United had completely denied that personal terms had been agreed. And United don't normally respond to too much transfer news. So when they do, you have to take note of it. And they move quite swiftly to deny that any sort of personal terms have been agreed between Man United and Matic. 
And then we fast forward a couple of days to the 26th of June when Mark Ogden for ESPN, former Telegraph writer, formerly very, very good with Manchester United transfer news, and kind of changed when Fergie left. He was the journalist who broke Fergie's retirement news. Now, Mark Ogden is saying that by the end of this week, Man United are confident that a deal for Nemanja Matic will be complete. Now, the fee, we're looking in the region of up to £40 million. He was re-signed by Chelsea for around about £21 million, I think it was. But, as I said, there's two distinct lines of journalists. Some that are so certain and confident that Fabinho is over the line, and some that are so certain and confident that Nemanja Matic is going to happen by the end of this week. Could we sign both? I think if we did sign both, it wouldn't be a bad thing at all. Matic is an excellent defensive midfielder, and he's got a little bit more to his all-round game. And obviously Fabinho is a specialist in that position. Now, if you are going to compete on all fronts next season, an injury to Herrera or Pogba could be cruel because I don't think we've got much cover in those areas. So somebody like Matic, who can operate as a defensive midfielder, but is more than happy to play a little bit further up in a left central midfield or a right central midfield position, maybe that's the sort of cover that Mourinho wants. And options, because obviously Matic is big and powerful. Someone like Herrera is a little bit more diminutive. It gives him options and choices in midfield if both were to come in. So this is the current situation with Matic. As I said, some say we're signing Fabinho. Some say we're signing Matic. Are we signing both? No one's really saying we're signing both. But who would you rather have out of Matic and Fabinho if you had to make a choice? Or do you think there is a chance that Mourinho is going to be bringing in two central midfielders to Man United this summer? That's it for the full story on Matic. I hope it's helped you understand all the rumours and everything that's gone on. Drop a like on the video as always, ladies and gents. Subscribe down there if you're new. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.